Hello Internet, it's me, ya boy Jess, and I'm back with another continuous action pattern. My goal with this series is to take the combos, concepts, and tricks that I use in my performances and break them down into a series of 4 to 8 steps or counts. These counts will help define the important poses that are necessary in order to recreate the concept properly. Since this format is designed to end in the same pose that it begins, the concept is thereby more easily repeatable for the sake of drilling repetitions. Each cap can be altered and expanded by filtering the concept through a series of directional dichotomies. For example, forward implies backwards, right side up implies upside down, left hand leading implies right hand leading, and so on. Each one of these parameter changes will greatly expand the utility of the caps when it comes to applying them to the performance or overall flow at large. As always, we will start with one variation of the cap and move on to the remaining variations that are implied by the starting point. This pattern is called pinky torture. We're going to start by making a simple finger tutting position with the pointer finger up on both hands and pointing them at whatever viewer, camera, lens, or whatever. You're going to take your ring finger, this finger, and digit it down so that it's placed like this so that you end up with a shape just like this. You're going to hold it out in front of you and this is going to be positioning position one. So one. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And to slow it down and to make it clear what's happening here, what this, digit, this finger that's digited comes out, and then a finger roll happens so that the hand positioning is in the op exact opposite position it was not before. Before it was in this position, then a finger rolls into this position. So what you're gonna do is release this digit first, finger roll into this positioning here, and then digit that middle finger down. So again, that's all in one fluid motion. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Once you get the hang of that, you can add on to it by going one and two and three and four. 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 So what's happening here is when you get to this positioning, this is why it's called pinky torture. Both your pointer, thumb, thumb, and pinky are going to digit down. So it's going to flatten, 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 and flatten all at once. And then it's going to line up. So flatten, line, flatten, up. Flatten, line, digit up, digit down, digit up, digit down, digit up. Again, the pinky's go thumb's gonna end here, pinky's gonna end here, pointer's gonna end here, thumb's gonna end here, and two, and three, and four. One, and two, and three, and four. So then you can reverse it. What you're gonna do is you're going to reverse the hand positioning, middle finger digit down, pinkies out. You're gonna make that, make a little diamond here with your thumbs and your pointer fingers, and you're going to do that reversing motion again. With the right hand first, you're gonna go one, got your pointer and thumb, thumb and pinky again, one and two and three and four and one and 
two and three and four and. So that one's pinky torture. That's how you can reverse it, flip it over, and then this is how you can kind of use it in a show. Request for a specific move, a specific video to be turned into. 